Hey YouTube, iPhone Ty here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video for you guys. Now, as I'm sure all of you guys know by now, Apple just released a new iOS version 6.1, which has brought up a lot of different questions, and I've had a ton of questions pouring in uh, as far as uh, whether it's safe to update to the new 6.1, which is kind of a double-sided question because I also have some very exciting news about the new untethered jailbreak. So I'll kind of get into both of those and answer your questions for you guys. Uh, but first off, like I said, the, the question that I've been getting asked the most is, is it safe for me to update if I'm unlocked with the GPP SIM or the RSIM 7. Now, thank you guys for asking me first before you update. That's always smart to make sure before you do it, so thank you. Uh, but I went ahead and took the liberty with this Sprint iPhone 4S to update to 6.1 to see if I could get the GPP and the RSIM 7 to work. Now, once I update and I plugged it into the computer in order to install the profile required to unlock it with the GPP SIM, the first thing that I noticed is the software told me that it wasn't compatible with 6.1 yet. Uh, then I tried the GPP alone without the profile and this was a result that I got here. It just kept going back to Sprint. Unfortunately, it does not work. Now, I don't know if this is because the profile isn't compatible with the phone and it needs the profile for it to work, or if that means that the GPP SIM as it stands now, or the RSIM 7, isn't capable of, of cracking or unlocking the baseband. Uh, but I will keep you guys updated as far as um, the unlock goes and the GPP and the profile and all that and let you know as soon as there's a solution that I know works for you guys and it's safe to update. But if you're unlocked, you need to stay on 6.0 or 6.0.1 or if you're on an iOS 5 version, stay on that if you're using the RSIM 3 or Jevy or whatever. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, that brings me to my next question, which is very exciting news, and it's about the jailbreak. You guys have been asking me about the new jailbreak for a very long time, and I know we have all been anxiously awaiting, but I think that our patience is going to pay off here soon. Uh, there are confirmed reports of people from the dev team saying that they have completed and they have all the exploits necessary to do an untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, and iPhone 4 on iOS 6.1. Now, I don't know if this is going to be compatible with 6.0 and 6.0.1 and, and 6.1. Uh, so, again, uh, if you're unlocked, you might have to wait a little while to, to update it because it's better to have a phone that you can actually use than a phone that you can't use but is jailbroken, if that makes sense. I will keep you guys posted on that. I believe the rumors are that uh, the new jailbreak should be released around the 3rd, although that's not confirmed. It's just rumors, but again, I will keep you guys updated on that as well. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions for me, um, feel free to, to ask in the comments. Um, or shoot me an email. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out very much, guys. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.